Hi, my name is Chris or Zelda and welcome to my channel. If it's not your first time on my channel, welcome back. But if it's your first time, welcome. My last upload was almost one year ago and I recently got 1,000 subscribers. So thank you all. So today I'd like to talk about the top five things that I liked past tense about being an Aikaiwa teacher here in Japan. If you haven't seen the ALT version of this, I highly recommend checking it out first. And before we get started, let me define Aikaiwa first. Aikaiwa stands for English Conversation or English Conversation School. So it's basically like a cram school where students go to after their regular class or for adults as well. Aikaiwa is catered to different age groups. And although there are some places that incorporate or integrate other subjects, most of the time, the focus of Aikaiwas is just English. Aikaiwa teachers also not only teach um, English conversation, but also help students prepare for tests like Aiken, TOEIC, or IELTS. Some of the big Aikaiwa companies in Japan are Eon, Amity, um, ECC, Nova. So if you have already looked into coming to Japan to teach English, you've probably encountered one of those names. I'd also like to mention that I worked as an Aikaiwa teacher for over three years under one of the biggest names in Japan. And although I eventually left that job, there were definitely some moments and a lot of things that I really liked and enjoyed while I was working as an Aikaiwa teacher. Now that you have a bit of a background about Aikaiwa, let's get started on my top 5 list. So let's start with number 5. No work on Mondays. Most Aikaiwas operate from Tuesdays to Saturdays and depending on your mindset, this could be both a blessing or a curse. I personally liked it because many places where I have to do official businesses are closed on Saturdays and Sundays. For example, if I have to go to the city hall, the bank, or the embassy, if my schedule is the typical Monday to Friday schedule, then I'd probably have to file a day off if I have to do official businesses. Since I had Mondays off, I could do those things on my day off. Since most people in Japan also have Saturdays and Sundays off, it means that most places of attractions are less busy. Some of these examples are amusement parks, shopping malls, and even libraries. I guess the only downside to this is if you have friends and family who have the typical weekday of work and Saturday and Sundays off which means you only have Sundays to hang out with them. Number four, adequate training and support from the foreign side of the company. I cannot speak for other Ikaiwas but at least where I worked at there was definitely enough support and training from the very first day of work until my very last day. It wasn't very difficult to get in touch with them and also the trainers and the people at the top of the hierarchy, I would say, the top of the positions, they were also teachers once. I also have friends who worked in the Japanese side of the company and they have a totally different story. So yeah, just keep that in mind. I can confidently say that I was very satisfied with how they supported me. Even when I decided to quit, my trainer was really supportive of my decision and I didn't really have a difficult time, a hard time on my last few days and I've heard a lot of horror stories of other Aikaiwa teachers during their last few days at work. I didn't really experience that so for that I'm really grateful as well. Just a side note, my first year working as an Aikaiwa teacher in Japan was a very difficult period of my life. After I felt burnt out, after working with the company for over three years, I still felt the support of my trainer when I told them um, basically that I wanted to quit or I wanted to take a break from work, from the Aikaiwa industry. They were very supportive of it. They gave different suggestions on how I could make my situation better. I don't really have any complaints about the foreign side of the Aikaiwa that I worked at. Number three, the opportunity to learn more and improve as a teacher. Although I really wasn't new to the teaching industry prior to coming to Japan, I would say that I am more of like an experienced teacher even before I came here. For me, it felt like starting from scratch or starting from zero again. The process was like having to forget everything that I've learned throughout my university years and my years of teaching in the Philippines because I had to create and adapt to the new style of teaching in Japan and specifically follow the structure that's 
implemented by the company to be honest it really took me a while to get used to the company style of teaching and I'm not gonna say that I nailed it in like the first week or the first month it took me many months I'd say over six months for me to get really used to it I was in charge of teaching different types of lessons for example private lessons semi-private lessons group lessons interactive lessons with computers and also test preparation lessons lessons that I had never taught before which was a great learning opportunity for me that also gave me a lot of opportunities to meet Japanese people from different walks of life I taught from zero to elderly or babies to adults um, we had a lot of parents pregnant parents who would come to school we had a lot of grandparents of our students so it was great and it was amazing i enjoyed every single lesson with them especially with older students and with higher levels of english i feel like you really get to know them and i got to know a lot of my adult students so it was a great experience for me i had some students back then who i'm still in touch with to this day the chance to teach students of different ages and different levels of english really pushed me to make the most appropriate lessons for different students number two salary in Japan this. I think one of the reasons why many people choose to stay in the Eikaiwa industry no matter how tiring no matter how stressful it is is the salary the entry-level salary in Japan is between 130,000 to 230,000 yen but many Eikaiwas pay as much as 270,000 yen in the first year of teaching many Eikaiwas also offer salary increase every year there are other higher paying jobs in Japan like university teaching international school jobs um, business English teaching jobs but those jobs are a little bit more difficult to get compared to Eikaiwa jobs. Number one is co-workers. As I mentioned earlier, my first year as an Eikaiwa teacher was really difficult and one hell of a ride. And if it weren't for my co-workers, I wouldn't have lasted for a month. My co-workers in my first year of teaching in Japan have become lifelong friends. And I really owe them my sanity during that time. And you might be wondering like what happened during that time, but that'll be for another video. We hear many people say that a great manager is the key to keep the employees happy. But in my opinion, co-workers can make or break your experience in a company. Manager can be not so great or even downright bad. But if your co-workers are amazing, maybe there is a chance that you can finish your contract. Also, if you and your co-workers end up liking the company of each other, you will become default friends and even hang out outside of work. And be friends for better or for worse. I also liked how international the environment was when I was working at an Ikaiwa. As an ALT, I was the only foreigner at school and everyone else at work was Japanese. So I think that international environment was something that I was really missing. Those are my top five reasons or the top five things that I liked about working as an Ikaiwa teacher. Although I ended up not staying in the company for a very long time, I definitely treasure a lot of memories and a lot of the people that I met during my time as an Ikaiwa teacher. If you worked in the industry or you're currently an Ikaiwa teacher, please feel free to share your stories and experiences in the comment section down below. I will also make a video about the things that I didn't like about working as an Eikaiwa teacher and an ALT, so please look forward to that. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Matane!